So I just got off the phone with my mom right now. And I got some terrible news. Damn, dude. So I guess last night, like around 4 a.m., my mom, my grandma was using the bathroom and my mom was waiting to go up next. And she noticed that my grandma started um, breathing weird. So she opened the door and checked and she found my grandma like laid out dead and laying on the ground with her eyes open. And she was calling her name, touching her, her cheeks and stuff like that. And that she wouldn't wake up until she um like, you know, whiffed alcohol or something like that. And a few days ago, we found out that my grandma has coronavirus. And I didn't think this was an actual real thing. I know I, I've always been, I've been cautious and stuff like that. But I didn't know it was this serious. I thought it was just like a flu and stuff like that. But now I'm I'm starting to, starting to get it. Because not only my grandma has the virus, and so does my mom and her husband. And uh, me and my sister have to go do the test. Because um, I'm pretty sure if they have it, I'm sure we do too. Because, um, you know, we've been here, we've been around them, taking care of them and stuff. Because they've been sick for, you know, a few weeks now. And we just got the confirmation that they came out positive. Ah, uh, fuck, man. And this is so hard because for those of you who don't know, a lot of you don't know this, but my my grandpa um, died. He got murdered. He got shot like five times when my mom was 15 years old. So I was never able to meet him, nothing like that. My mom, um, my grandma got married when she got older. And so that was a, my, like, my grandpa figure. Because he was married to my grandma for more than 50 years and stuff, you know? Way before I was born. So I looked at him as my grandpa. And when I was in high school, he passed away due to two heart attacks and stuff. So... It's kind of hard right now because I, I just recently I lost a friend due to overdose. And it just sucks, man. It just sucks. I don't know how this year could get any worse, man. You know, I could sit around here and say to leave a like and subscribe to support and, uh, and one of those equals a prayer and stuff, but that, that really doesn't do anything. That really doesn't do anything for me. I just want to um, help in any way and make sure my grandma stays healthy because um, before that, because this happened last night, be, um, I think it was two days before that happened. Um, my mom also found my grandma in the kitchen, like, lay down, um, fainting. And she, um, I was in my room and she screamed my name and her husband's name to come, um, help her up and stuff. And so it's just bad. And, um, yeah, dude, I, I just don't know. Cause I'm seeing a lot of things happen and I just don't know what's going to happen and shit. And I don't know if I'm ready for that, to be honest, man. So I'm really close to my grandma, for sure. But this is all I want. This is all I wanted to tell you guys and also say that this is real. This is actually real, and the people you love, even if you guys have problems with them. You guys are not talking or anything like that. Now is actually a really good time to start 
talking and telling the people that you love that you love them because like everybody says like people say tomorrow's not promised and you don't know what what will happen in a few hours days weeks you know there's not, none of it is promised so just live life never regret and just hope for the best man I hope everybody's safe out there. Those are...